Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at some iPods here, some old and one of them is newer. Um, new if you're watching this in 2019 at least. Um, so let's get straight to it. This is a, these are four iPods here. I have a grand total of six. Um, you'll see the other two um, in a different video on my channel. They're the iPod Classics from I believe 2009-2010. Uh, 160 gigabytes, but these right here are um, smaller iPods, you could say, except for this one right here. Uh, this is a big one at 128 gigs. So um, we're just going to take a look at these one by one, and then you get to see uh, the differences in them. So let's get started, shall we? Right here we have the iPod Shuffle. I don't know which generation this is because there was quite a few of them, but it's very small as you could see. And basically, in order to play music, you would just have to push uh, play here. And, um, you know, and then you have the basic controls of next song, etc., etc., and uh, all of that. Um, so, yeah, you got that there. There's nothing really uh, much to say about this. It's a pretty, pretty simple design, really. On to the next iPod, we have the um, iPod... I believe it's the iPod Nano. So what was playing here? AFI, Girls Not Grey. Great band, actually. Punk rock band. Um, late, from the late 90s and early 2000s. And um, So this right here is uh, it's green, as you can see. It says iPod here, 16 gigs. Uh, these iPod Nanos are quite nice because when you go, on this, when you go this way, um, if I had any videos in there, it would actually play videos. But uh, as you can see, um, if I go like this, um, I did it before, but I guess it's trying to think or whatever. Uh, you could choose uh, the different albums that you want to scroll through, scroll through. Let's see if I can. Okay, here you go. So there's quite a lot in this here. Yeah, I'm a very diverse uh, individual when it comes. Well, I just like different types of music. And we just passed by Arcade Fire, which is one of my favorite bands of all time. Uh, Neon Bible is a great album. Um, do love alternative rock as well. But this is the iPod Nano, and uh, this does play video. Uh, has a really nice display. You can see the review of the album art right here. And the next thing um, I'm going to say is um, this iPod has the infamous click wheel design, um, which Apple is really um, what they're known for. At least when Apple was concentrating on the iPods. This was pre-iPhone era right here. Vintage stuff. So we're going to move on to the next iPod, uh, the next generation of this device. Um, which is um, quite a controversial design. I don't know if I really like it that much. So let's take a look at that. Right here is another iPod Nano, but square. And I think that with this, it was designed to be worn as a watch. So you have a wristband you could go around and it goes around there and you could just put it up here like this on your, uh, well, you know what I mean. Um, anyways, um, this basically has very simple controls. Let me just go see if I could show it to you if it was focused somehow. There you go, that's better. Um, you've got your basic artists. You can choose a song like Linkin Park here. Listen to something from Meteora. Somewhere I Belong. I really like new metal, by the way. And, um, at least some new metal. I don't really like Limp Bizkit. And, I mean, I really liked Korn when I was in high school. And, but Meteora, um, Linkin Park, and this album in particular, their second album, I am. I am a very big fan of it, and uh, I will say that I am a fan of the first three, or maybe even the first four Linkin Park albums. Um, it all started with uh, Hybrid Theory, of course, as you know, but uh, I think this one's slightly better than Hybrid Theory. But we're not here to talk about music, we're just here to look at the iPods. And, uh, this one actually, for the next generation, what came after this, it's interesting because Apple had did something where they reversed, uh, they went back and because uh, this doesn't really play video, right? You can't really play video on this square screen here. So 
that's why it's controversial. And in fact, it's very, very much related to uh, design-wise to the iPod Shuffle here. Now we're going to get to the last device. I got this device recently in 2019, or um, depending on when you watch this, whatever, whenever 2019 was, whether that be last year or whenever. But this is actually an iPod that I use quite frequently when I drive and when I'm just in general listening to music. So here it is right here. Okay, here we have the iPod Touch 2019 edition. This was released in 2019. It runs iOS 13, um, basically the newest version of iOS as of 2019. And it's, uh, it's a very good device, I'll say. Um, it's um, it's very fast. It has two gigabytes of RAM, and uh, also uh, it has 128 gigabytes. So. Uh, I'm going to actually uh, unlock this and uh, show you what was uh, inside, uh, or what I was listening to. Sorry, it's a little late at night, so my mind's all over the place. Here's the back, you got the camera there. The camera's alright. For 2019, you thought they would have upgraded this, but it's still the same. And if you look at an iPod from 2012, it's the same body, but with different internal components. This has the most powerful internal components in it, um, 2019 components. So as you can see here, I was listening to a band called Faith No More. They are very, they are a very good group actually. Um, and then you got some history here. Let's see what is this history. Let's see what I was listening to. So you could delve into the diversity of what I like. I mean, which I like. A lot. How do you do that anyway? Anyways, um, let me see if I could pull that back up again. I'm sorry, I had to edit it in this kind of weird way, but I couldn't figure out how to get back to the history there to show you what recent songs I was listening to. So we'll just look at artists so you could see the, the diversity here. You go to A, we got some Aaliyah, Aaron Carter, oh my god, why the hell is that in there? ABBA, ABC, ACDC, blah, 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 blah. Let's just go, 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 explore my in-depth music, baby. Okay, got some Van Morrison, some Van Halen. Of course, I probably have more um, David Lee Roth Van Halen because that was the kick-ass Van Halen era. Okay, let's just look around some more, shall we? Blah, 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 blah. Just so I could show off my music collection here. T-Rex, UB40. Okay, now now this is weird, okay? Because I, I freaking have Madonna in here somewhere. As you could see... Quite a few of her stuff. Madame X is pretty good, actually, the newest one. But why would someone that listens to Madonna also listen to frickin', say, over here? Um, ooh, Mariah Carey. Why would someone who listens to Madonna and Mariah Carey also have inside their iPod Megadeth, a whole bunch of Megadeth, and Metallica, Marilyn Manson, I mean, you name it, I got a lot of... I basically have every genre you could ever think of in here. Okay, well, maybe not the international uh, genres, but anyways, yeah, as you could see, um, let's just talk about the iPod again. This basically does uh, what an iPhone does, uh, minus the phone. So it's a brilliant device, really. Um, I love it. And so this is the iPod Touch, 128 gigabytes. Um, it does play uh, some video as well. So if you um, have an iPhone or an iPod, I, I guess there's nothing much to say. Uh, you pretty much know how iPod um, how videos play on here. Okay, so um, let me bring the iPod back into frame. Beautiful, beautiful design, I'll say. I think that this is the best iPod of the ones I've shown you, for obvious purposes that it is most like an iPhone. Minus the phone. Now you're wondering, why would an old man like myself get an iPod Touch, which is designed clearly for children, right? I mean, it's like a kid's device. But you know what? I actually wanted to put all my music in here. Um, and this is, doesn't even have all my music. Um, what this, what I like about the 128 gigs is it has a lot of space. But here, look. 7,909 songs, okay? If you actually look at my um, digital music collection itself, I have probably have about close to 200,000 songs because I do collect full-on albums. So, you know, I'll have every Megadeth album, um, 
and if I don't have every Metallica, oh, I do have every Metallica album, but let's say, for example, I don't have every uh, Judas Priest album physically, but I do have every Judas Priest album in digital format. Does that make me a phony music collector? I don't know, but I actually do think that, you know, music could be listened to in many different uh, forms. But anyways, uh, before I do ramble on, uh, it's been really all about this iPod, hasn't it been? Um, this is the iPod Touch. Definitely recommend it to, for music lovers. Although maybe not if you already own an iPhone uh, 11. Well, in 2019, iPhone 11 is the newest one. So if you own one of those, uh, I guess you don't really need this. But you know what? I actually like the design a lot. I like having my music and stuff on here. And look at that. It's incredibly sexy. Alrighty, so here it is, all the iPods that, uh, I, these, are, these are not all the iPods I own, but it is a good portion of it. Now, um, I love how they're all different colors, by the way. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching uh, this random video here, and uh, tell me, what do you think about these iPods, you know? Is this one so far your favorite, because this one is the most capable of uh, being like an iPhone, or let me know, because, um, you know, iPods are really relics now. Uh, Apple just just does not focus on them anymore and it's kind of sad because you know Apple used to be a company at least in the mid 2000s uh, where they would concentrate on iPods and they had the silhouette commercials you know the white earbud but uh, black silhouettes dancing to music um, I remember when U2's Vertigo that song was used and uh, there were a bunch of other songs too um, that were used for the silhouette commercials but thank you for uh, watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one take care Rock on.